Hey, good morning. It's so dark 30. I'm about to leave my house in Mattapoisett, Massachusetts. Head down, do a little fishing with Brian Patterson in uh, Bristol, Rhode Island. Do I look like I need some coffee? Brian, how you um, doing? I'm good Tom. morning. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Boy, we got a nice uh, morning for it, huh? It's going to be absolutely gorgeous today. We're looking in the upper 60s, and uh, we've just been hitting some bass in the past few days, so this should be a fantastic day. That's great. How far do we have to run to uh, get the bait? About five minutes. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I like that idea. We got the gear? Yeah. All set to go. Perfect. Welcome aboard. Thanks. As the sky began to lighten, we idled out of Bristol Harbor and Brian's North Coast 23 and set a course for Mount Hope Bay and the Taunton River, where Brian had recently found the bait fish we needed to catch big striped bass. Along the way, we passed below the Mount Hope Bridge and later the Braga Bridge, enjoying the beautiful morning. Pogey. One fresh pogey, perfectly hooked. You don't want a lot of blood on them. Uh, so you want to get them in as soon as possible, get them in the live well. Uh, if they are bleeding a lot, put them in a five gallon bucket with some water, let them bleed out. And we can always, always use them for chunk bait later on. Uh, tend not, I'd rather not waste any fish if possible. So this is a perfect bait. We'll get them in the live well right now so we can uh, uh, put them on a live line a little bit for some bass. I like it. Right now we're setting up where two channels converge right on the north side of the Mount Hope Bridge. This is um, all Mount Hope Bay, early season, it's a great fishery. We're looking at about a uh, water temp about 57 and a half, uh, which is ideal for uh, the striped bass right now. And uh, just looking at the uh, fish finder, getting a lot of marks down deep. A lot of water movement, um, you know, typically the bass, you know, they're, they're more or less lazy, like to hang down deep, uh, let the bass, uh, let the bait kind of pass on through. So we're going to fish the channels where they converge and uh, hopefully hook up. When live lining pogies for stripers, Brian rigs up with seven aught circle hooks, which he feels greatly reduces the chance of a gut hooked fish. He hooks the pogey through the very tip of the upper jaw, leaving most of the hook exposed. In water over 30 feet deep, he uses a three ounce bank sinker on a sliding fish finder rig to get the bait down to the bottom. All I'm doing now is I'm keeping a free spool, just using my thumb as tension, because what's gonna happen is, that fish is going to take the bass. A lot of times they'll take it sideways and then as they run they're going to flip it over as they're running with it. So you want them to let them run. We use a term that I probably can't say on camera, but you want to let them take it for a very, very long time 
to know that they've that they've actually swallowed it. So you have that much more room uh, through the fish's gold so that so that circle hook has room to set on the upper lip. Hooked up. All right. This is actually our second one. Sorry we couldn't get all the footage on there, but we actually <laughs> doubled up at the same time. So we just released one, probably a good 20, 22 pounds. We're fighting the second one right now. This one took the live bait. We were just using chunks before, kind of seeing what was working. We had a fighter on our hands. I think he just realized he was close to the boat. This happens when you catch a fish. It was all crazy. Come on, fish. Let's get you up here and get your release back in the water. That's another nice fish. The same size fish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, if it can, let me just get this hook out real quick. So we can... A few seconds here. Oops. <laughs> Catch and release. <laughs> Yeah, out there. It. All right, we were hooked up again. I think it was maybe about five minutes before we actually dropped the next uh, round of baits down. And uh, this guy just ran with it. So we got him out on the surface, probably out a good uh, 50, 60 feet. But these fish are getting hungry right now. We just came up on a change of tides and uh, the, the bites just really started picking up. So let's get this guy to the boat. And oh, uh, well, if he wants to come to the boat, actually, these guys are fighting pretty hard right now, especially on light tackle. This is one of the great things about uh, the upper bay in early season. You can do this light tackle thing, and uh, these fish are just so much fun, especially when you get to the 20, 30 pound bass. Uh, using this, uh, we think we got about 20 pound full. We just little jumped out there, a little 20 pound floor on it. But uh, these fish are healthy, they're aggressive, and uh, just a heck of a lot of fun. I think he's done this before. There we go. Let's see if get this line off my fingers, wrapping it around. And there you go. This upper bay striped bass. Early season, we're about a, it's a week shy of where we normally are. These fish have come up pretty early, but uh, you can tell a little bit of sea lice on them. Still fresh, no marks. Here's what I was saying with the uh, circle hooks right in the lip, easy to get out of, quick release. Let me flip them around for you. Here we go. There you go. And this is actually one of the smaller ones. The last two that uh, we didn't, weren't able to get on camera were a little bit bigger, but uh, these are still a, a great fish to catch and uh, a lot of fun for you know, both anglers and family alike. So, what do you say? We catch another one? Yes, Let's do sir. it. Oh. <laughs>